guys, it's 1.30 a.m. It's time for breakfast, the boys are cooking something. It's a pretty rough sleep. Um, sleeping on the ground, basically. <laughs> I'm absolutely freezing in here. I want to eat something, warm up, and get moving. And then uh, hike for the next three, four hours up to the summit in the dark. Okay, we just had our breakfast. It's pitch black. We're gonna start hiking now and I'm um, just gonna put the camera down and uh, we'll pull it back up when we got some light so we can see something. But here we go. Three hours in the dark hike. So you guys, it's 2 a.m. November 27th. Pitch black. Got my phone out here. But I wanna check if we can see the sky because we got clear skies and the stars there they are got a couple of extra layers on me gloves hoodie hat we just need to get moving so we can warm up all right we're getting pretty high up and as you can see there in the background it's Davao city and there's a big big drop down there you can see but we entered the face of the boulders, no more jungle. We're at this place in Mount Apo called the boulders. The rest of the hike here is just these gray rocks, crystallized and sometimes even sulfurized, I guess the word is. This beautiful yellow sulfur rock. Not only is it yellow, but it's kind of shiny, crystallized. Sulfur, guys. We're about 2,500 meters above sea level right now. But what of you guys? We've got the sunrise popping in the background, colors popping out everywhere. Still got good conditions, a little bit of clouds. So um, hopefully, once again, no rain, but we're getting fun of you like that. And here in my background, in the boulder face, you can see a lot of smoke coming up from the ground, and that's the sulfur from the geothermal activity. And that's the one that creates this rotten X smell when you're hiking up here. The sunrise is popping up. So uh, from here, we're gonna finally fly the drone and see actually how freaking big the mountain is.
thousand feet so every step is hard <laughs> and it's freezing up here <laughs> there's a lot of berries around and some of them are super colorful but you gotta make sure you know and know which one you can actually eat the ones you can are the blue ones aka the blueberries Here's a good example of a bunch of them. That's edible. <laughs> it's so good. Welcome to the Mount Apple Crater. We're at about 2,850 meters above sea level and behind us is the Santa Cruz Peak and the Center Peak as well. And those reach 10,311 feet above sea level. So it's absolutely massive. This is the highest peak we we'll place in all of Philippines. And what's uh, really cool about this uh, top, the peak, is that uh, we're surrounded or inside of a crater. So let's hope it doesn't erupt while we're here. We're a little bit exhausted after that hike because that was the steepest climb uh, so far on the trip. Almost 87% or 98 degrees, nearly 90 degrees at point times and uh, just straight up. So uh, we're relaxing now, getting uh, early breakfast. What time is it? I think it's like 8 or 9 or something. It's 7 or 9. 7 or 9, it's still 7. So I guess it's breakfast again. Chickens from leftovers from yesterday and some pork and beef But uh, always remember if you do these hikes, whatever you bring with you always bring back leave no trace Leave it as it was and uh, like we do For a season <laughs> juice. We have some juice <laughs> We bring everything back guys. That's the most important It's so hard. below the jungle in the farmlands
victory shout. timing to end on this uh, quite interesting crazy vlog uh, shout out to Fly Junjun Wonder Apple uh, I'll link it down below to do the same tour of the trip my knee hurts like hell this was a big accomplishment personal accomplishment for me a step you know uh, that has been taking me years and years to accomplish and uh, I finally did it this was a threshold to uh, overcome injury that has been um, in the back of my mind for so many years and I just I never talked about it or shared it before but now you guys know. So uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.